very, very well. Oh, they graduate, never going to see you again. No, that's not the way it works. We've got to get our springs in them. We've got to stay in touch with them. Because they are really part of this culture. And if we don't recognize that as a cultural thing, all we're saying is here, oh, you partake of it only for a while. Like those little Indian kids came to Crown Point and they indoctrinated them and then they cut them loose over the summer. Kids had no idea what they were up to, what they were supposed to be doing, whatever, even though <laughs> they'd been expected to become little white people. They didn't know how to relate to their own people. They didn't know how to relate to any people. So as a result, you have a lot of people, Indian people, who have all kinds of sociological problems. But we don't want to let that happen too much, do you? Isn't that right? You don't want us to forget you, do you? No. Got the idea? We are, therefore, a community that needs to stay together. Not just for ourselves, but for our students. Teach them to learn. Show them how to learn what you have to offer. Stay with them in the trenches. Encourage as much as you can those people in the rarefied atmosphere of administration to get out of the ivory towers and get down in the trenches with you. They need to be there. Jim Griffin was. It wasn't about him. It wasn't for Mark Burke either. And everybody loved him. Well, I offer you a farewell at this point. Do well. Okay? That's his old uh, Buddhist maxim. Do well. Do good. Think good. 